Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. Mackie Motors post game show continuing here on Kick 106.7. Michael Kaspavauer with the Kemper Knights joining us here tonight as the Knights uh, fall to Harlan. Uh, Michael, we were just talking, a uh, slow start for you guys tonight as Harlan got up in this one at 12 to nothing to start the ball game. Um, I thought second half you guys really settled in. When did you feel like you guys got comfortable here in this game tonight? Uh, I thought early third quarter, just the whole third quarter. Third quarter has been a big quarter for us all year. And, you know, our young guys started settling in. We, we had a different starting five coming out of halftime. Young guys just wanted to get ourselves comfortable for the rest of the season. When you came in in that first quarter, you came out aggressive, came out to attack. Is that kind of your role, do you feel, on this team? Uh, yeah, Coach Minahan told me a lot of times, like my role is to come off the bench and go get some buckets. So. Defensively, um, the current kid gave you guys some trouble there in the first half, able to get into the lane. What were you guys trying to do with him? Uh, we were just trying to penetrate by him, get his feet moving, get him flying over the court, drive, kick, swing it. We worked that all the time in practice, so that's just what we were trying to get to. What were you trying to do defensively against him um, uh, as he was able to bring the ball down the floor and get in the lane against you guys? We were trying to lock him left, force him to the corner, had a tough couple moves, got to the baseline, and that's just, we jaw dead there. Talk about the defensive effort for the team tonight. Where did you feel like you guys played well on the defensive end? Uh, controlling the ball up the court, getting to our traps, flying around the court. We're an aggressive defensive team. So, like, we're trying to get out, get steals, get in transition. thought that's where we did well. What worked for you guys offensively tonight? Where did you feel like you guys were able to attack Harlan throughout the game? Uh, definitely definitely in the paint. We struggled shooting the ball three point from the three-point line these past two games. So just penetrating the ball, getting into the paint, getting our layups. That's probably where we did best. I know a tough loss tonight, but one really bright spot. Carter Putney come off the bench for you tonight. Hit that big three uh, right there at the end of the third quarter from half court. Talk about uh, the play of some of the younger guys, especially the guys that got some more playing time there in the second half. Yeah, so we play four sophomores, so we're young. Carter Putney does a great job. He's running all over the floor. He's an athletic kid. He can shoot the ball. Good left-handed ball player. So we just try to get him comfortable, get him into a big role coming like for the rest of the season. Well, Mike, I appreciate you joining us here tonight. Uh, congratulations on a great effort for you. Best of luck coming up with Red Oak on Friday. Thank you. You bet, Michael Casper Bauer again with the Kemper Knights. We do have head coach Sean Minahan sitting back over here. He's going to make his way up here to the post-game area. We'll get uh, Coach transferred in here and get him on the headphones. Coach, appreciate you joining us here tonight. I, I, I kind of said it late in the game a couple of times, and, and Randy and I talked about it. That 12-0 run that they opened up the game with was kind of the difference. It's, it, Randy said it. It's when you get down 12 to nothing to a team like Harlan, they don't generally make enough mistakes uh, for you to be able to come back from that real easy, and they didn't here tonight. Yeah, uh, you know they're a really athletic team. There was a reason they were picked to win the conference, and they showed it tonight. They didn't. They don't have a ton of size, but. Uh, from a height standpoint, but they're extremely long yep. athletic. and very athletic, and we kept trying to out-jump them, and I kept trying to tell our guys, guys, we're not more athletic than them. There's a reason they won the state championship in football, right. and it wasn't close. They, they dominated everybody they played, and you can see why, because they have really good athletes that we didn't match up well with, and we didn't do the things necessary to compete tonight. What were you hoping to do? What were you hoping to do at the beginning of the game? Compete. Compete? Yeah be in the right position we weren't in the position defensively offensively we're soft with the basketball uh, we allowed them to push us around we, we were timid we didn't play fundamental basketball we didn't play winning basketball coach where did you when did you feel like the team settled in and started to play more like you wanted them to didn't didn't, <laughs> didn't happen no uh, we had a couple guys that competed but uh, we struggled to find guys that wanted to go out and compete um, tonight you know, so we're just going to have to go to work and get better, and we can't let, I don't know, we, we looked a little timid tonight, and we can't we can't do that. Coach, uh, started some young guys there. Uh, they came out with four sophomores in the second half. Different lineup for you. What did you see from that younger group? I mean, they, they fought hard. Uh, our execution wasn't very good. Um, but, but they definitely competed, and they went after the loose balls, which didn't happen in the first half. Every loose ball situation, they won. Whether it was because they were faster or stronger, they jumped higher, they won every loose ball situation. So the younger guys did a good job of going out there and fighting. Coach, the current kid really hurt you in the first half getting into the lane. Uh, I thought you did a better job against him second half. What changes, if any, did you make? 
just challenge the guys that I still think we didn't do a great job, to be honest. Right. Uh, but a lot of it was we weren't in the right spots, whether it was on the ball uh, or in the help position. We weren't where we were supposed to be. Um, that's not the way our defense is supposed to be run. Uh, so we have to do a better job. Got a chance to do that Friday night. You got Red Oak. What are you looking at with them? They're good. Uh, they got some seniors. They they uh, they really struggled at the beginning of last year, but they really figured some things out. They had some guys that can shoot. They got a sophomore who's one of the top shooters in the entire conference last year as a freshman. So I expect him to be to, to take that next step uh, and make that make that next progression. Um, so we we have to. Uh, just refocus going forward. I, t I told our guys afterwards, there's no point in, in beating the dead horse. You know, we already did, we, we said what needed to be said at halftime. Um, we're gonna go to work tomorrow. Guys got weights in the morning. Go get stronger, take care of our bodies. After practice, gonna have to refocus and flush this from our memories and move on. Well, Coach, appreciate you joining us. I know a tough one here tonight. Best of luck with Red Oak coming up on Friday. Thank you. You bet. Head Coach Sean Minahan again with the Kimberly.